So, salute everybody, man. Much respect, man. Y'all already know it's your boy Coach tapping in. I tell you every day above that dirt, it's a blessing no matter what. Stop all that stress. Also, tell you, you can't talk about yourself. Don't talk about nobody else. Yeah, yeah. I can, if I can say myself is ugly, I know you can say yourself is ugly too. Anyway, man. I just came across an article, man, and I just think that it's kind of relevant in today's world, especially in the sports world, man, when it comes to a lot of things. Man, I just salute to the state of Georgia, man. That's number one, man. The state of Georgia, man, has approved to change their bylaws in the amateur sports to let their high school students, I say this again, high school students start receiving NIL deals. And if you don't know what the NIL deal is, a name, image, and likeness. I don't know what kind of Rocky behind under man. They've been talking about NIL deals for a very long time. Let me say this, man. I, I understand and I, I approve it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of these people that's going to say, no, 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 no. That's the stupidest thing in the world. I understand it and I approve it. But it has to be regulations on it. Got to be regulations on it. And see, I'm going to say this. The reason why I approve it because... Hey man, it's it's giving financial stabilities to kids that's in poverty. You know what I'm saying? Search, search, uh, circumstances. <laughs> I had to get the word out. All right, <laughs> see what I'm saying? But it's you know what I'm saying. It gives kids that's you know, you know. Let's just say, little JoJo, little JoJo man, he a good basketball player. You know what I'm saying? Great basketball player, man. But his at-home situation is not good. You know, he kind of lights off, gas off, water off, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Heart, can't pay the phone bill type things like that. Now that young man, if he go out there and get an NIL deal, he don't have to worry about that. He don't have to worry about losing his amateur status and what he got going on for the next level in college because he took some monies from somebody. He ain't got to worry about that. She ain't got to worry about that. You know, the the the... The way that these kids lose their 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 the amateur status is done. See what I'm saying? The only thing they can hurt them now is basically in Georgia is uh, grade changes. I understand it. I understand it from the state standpoint because now you're gonna get a lot of uh, kids that's coming from the state of Alabama, state of Florida, Tennessee, etc. You know what I'm saying? South Carolina, just the states that's real there surrounding Georgia. That's going to leave their state and go to Georgia to make some money to play basketball, football, softball, volleyball, swimming, etc. Because this is not just for football. This is across the board for all sports, man. So I understand it. The thing is, bro, we finna put a lot of greed. We finna put, because see, now you're putting too many grown folks into kids situations. Because now you finna put a lot of greed, a lot of greed into to high school sports, man. And we starting to lose the amateurism in sports. That's what made college football so good. That's what made high school football so good, all the way down to the park level, because it's the amateurism, it's the the passion, it's the 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 hunger. Now you taking some of that out of it, man. It's kind of like oh, like I said, I understand, man, because you got some kids that's in a situation, man, to where they need that financial help, that financial stability early in the game. It also is teaching kids. Early in the game in the state of Georgia, man, how to control their monies, how to learn how to pay taxes on their monies, how to learn how to save their monies, invest in their monies at an early age. Could you just imagine, man, your daughter, hot shot softball player, man, and Coca-Cola, say, I want to sponsor Lil Susie. And we give Lil Susie a $500,000 contract for four years. That is a blessing for Lil Susie and her family. Now that Susan and her family can start endorsing things, I mean, can start doing things on their end to real deal set up themselves up for financial stability for the rest of the Susie life. I salute that. That is a great, that is great. Only thing is we got to do the right thing when it comes to this, man. We got to look out for the kids because we know it's a lot of deceiving, <laughs> jealous-hearted, <laughs> conniving, uh, et cetera, parents in this world. See what I'm saying? And we know that these parents, man, they can they can they can get their hooks and crooks into things that they shouldn't. So <clears throat> excuse me. You gotta look at it on that end. You know. The competition, bruh, it's just now it's gonna get to the point to where also, man, like public school ball. Public school ball, like in the state of Georgia, man, in 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 
let's just say the state of Alabama get it. You know what I'm saying? In the urban, the urban schools, you know what I'm saying? The inner city schools, they'll never win the championship again. Just being honest. Because see, now you're going to give the private schools. <laughs> now you're going to give the private schools an even upper leg, uh, leg in advantage. Because see, now I ain't got to just pay tuition. Now you got these rich boosters and stuff like that, that, you know, kids and stuff go to these schools, you know, senators and stuff, uh, kids go to certain schools and stuff. They're like, hey, my, my, I want my football team to be good now. You know, doctors and all that stuff go to kids. Y'all know this stuff, private school kids. Now they finna real deal have A1 top talent. I'm just being honest, y'all. Now you're going to have, um, I'm just throwing names out there. Just, just Now you're going to have Bama High School versus Crimson High School. Crimson High School is the uh, the private school. Bama High School is the public school. Bama High School ain't going to be able to compete with Crimson High School now because of the monies and the NIL deals. I'm just saying. See, that's the thing. It's going to be the rich going to get way richer and the poor would never be able to compete. The half and the half nots. And see, now you're going to have it to where you're going to start putting a lot of jealousy. So you got to think about the bad with the good. See what I'm saying? You got to think about the bad with the good. And I'm just being honest. Because, see, now we're dealing with a lot of kids. And these kids, how you going to tell a little dude, man, that's that's making a million dollars in high school that's 16 years old to go to class? <laughs> it's a lot of things like that that you got to think about, you know. But, anyway, I support the idea as long as we're doing it the right way. As long as you're doing it the right way and these kids are doing the right things and their parents are doing the right things with their money, I can't tell nobody what to do with their money, but I just hope that they do the right thing. I salute to the state of Georgia for go ahead and getting them uh, ahead of the curve because what last year, year before last, the state of Texas was thinking about it. They was thinking about it. No, 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 no. Georgia said, forget all that thinking. We're going to change these bylaws and we're going to get this rolling now. So, hey, just think about it. You got a Aaron Nolan. Juju, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I can't think of the uh, kid last name, um, Juju, but he's a high shot sophomore. Yeah, class of 22. No, he's a junior. Excuse me, junior, high shot kid, the number one quarterback in the nation. You don't think that kid finna get a million, five million, not six million dollars right now around this motherfucker? <laughs> you don't think they finna go ahead and pay Juju uh Al, Al Nelson some money right now around this motherfucker? See what I'm saying? So. The kid finna be riding around in the Bentley in high school, bro. <laughs> it's so crazy, bro. Hey, man, but it is what it is. Because football, and see, I'm speaking on the football aspect. Football brings in millions of dollars to schools. <laughs> and I ain't talking about just high school. I mean, college either. High school, too. Just think about down in the state of Texas where you got million-dollar uh, million stadiums. Teams and cities have spent $60 million on a freaking high school stadium. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, more of the story is, man, I just read the uh, article about the state of Georgia is now has approved NIL name, image, and likeness for high school kids, man. And I approve the message. I approve the, what's going on. So, put some regulation to it and make sure it don't get wild and crazy. Anyway, man. Like I always tell you, man, every day above the dirt is a blessing no matter what. Stop all that stress. Say, so, hey, man, y'all see the video. Man, y'all do all that stuff. Man, hit the like button on that motherfucker. Hit the like button. That's all I'm going to say. Hit, hit the like button. Y'all do it for everybody else. If you see it, hit it. It's fucking free. <laughs> anyway. Hey, man, I just want to get on my little blogger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But salute, man. I'm out. Much respect. Every day above that dirt.